Hello, my little sweet tarts. Ivy here with Ivy B Creates, back with another tutorial. All right, tonight's tuto tutorial is going to be the waddle stitch. I really like this stitch. I've made a couple tops using the waddle stitch. Very nice. So what we're going to be using tonight is Crafter Secret. And let me read you the specs on it. It is 2 ounces, it's 57 grams, 95 yards, and 88 meters. It is 100% cotton, it's a 4 weight, and if you're going to knit with it, it says to use a 4.5 knitting needles. Or if you're going to crochet, it says to use an H8 5 millimeter, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to be using a size 6 millimeter or a J10. The colorway on this is Ocean Stripe. All right. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut your uh, finished product and a needle, and I prefer a pointed one. All right. So if you want to learn the waddle stitch dishcloth, Gather your materials and hurry back. Alrighty, let's learn and do this waddle stitch washcloth, dishcloth. So the waddle stitch is in multiples of three. So what you're going to do is make a slip knot on your hook any old way you know how. Give it a little tug and we're going to chain three a chain is yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through so I'm going to do a total of 30 chains so I've got three one two three and I'm going to do 27 more there's 30 okay so what you're going to do is single crochet in the third chain from your hook so we're going to skip this one and we're going to skip the next chain and we're going to put a single crochet into the third so there's one there's two there's three and I'm going to go underneath both legs as you can see split them and I'm going to make a single crochet we're going to chain one and we're going to turn around and put a double crochet right back in that same chain that we just came out of and a double crochet is yarn over go into that chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay we're going to skip two one two and into the third we're going to put a single crochet a chain one and a double crochet in the same chain I'll re do that repeat one more time. We're going to skip two, one, two, and into the third. We're going to put a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet all in that s chain space. And we're going to continue doing that all the way till the last three stitches okay so I'm going to work silently here and I'm going to do that
Okay, I'm just going to go off camera to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had a sneezing attack. Okay, working with cotton does that to me. All right, so we're down here to our last three. We're going to put a single crochet into the last chain. Okay. So now we're going to repeat what we just did here, but we're only going to be working in the chain one spaces. So I'm going to chain one, or turn my work, chain one, and we're going to, your chain one spaces is right in that where you did a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet, and that's what we're going to be working in. So we're going to skip over this first one and we're going to go right into that chain one space and we're going to put a single crochet a chain one and a double crochet. The same stitches that we did on the very first row we're going to repeat into this row. So we find the next uh, chain one space right there. You had your single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. We're in reverse there. So we're going to do a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Alright. Find the next chain one space. It's right there. Go in there, do a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Find the next chain one space, go into it and do a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. And let's do that all the way to the end. To find that chain one, do a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Find that uh, chain one space, put a single crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. And in the last double crochet there, we are going to put a um, going to put a single crochet. Okay. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work right into the, the um, chain one spaces. So we're going to go right into there and do a single chain one and a double. A single chain one and a double. And that's all it is to the wattle stitch. A single, a chain one, and a double. And you will continue that pattern. So what mine measures out to be 
is about seven inches. So I will continue doing it for seven inches or whatever size. You don't have to do this size. You can do the, any number that you want or any length or height that you want. So I'm going to work this up and I'll come back and finish the last row with you. I apologize. I, I thought I hit record and I was not recording, so I apologize. So I'll tell you what I've done um, to finish this up. I did a, I don't even know which corner I started at, but let's just say I did that. So every other row, I did a um, double crochet, put a, a cluster of three double crochets. So every other row, I did that. And then on the end, I put one, two, three, four, five five, six double crochets and just rounded it. I did not point it off, I rounded it. And continued on and come all the way around. And when I got here, I did a chain 10 and then I slip stitched back around into each one of them. And that's all I did. And we did my ends and that was it. And there is a waddle stitch. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you think of it. And won't you become my sweet tart? Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And let me know you like this. Thank you.